So let's talk about that. Sometimes we only talk about right now. Like for example, in this slide, you see this person, he is running right now. There are sentences where we talk about only this point, only a point of time, like in this sentence, he is running. That means this is happening right now. But if we want to talk about you know, the continuity of an action for some time, then we use this tense. Then we say, like in this picture, you see that this guy started running at 8.30 and this guy is still running. So in such a situation, we'll say he has been running since 8.30. Now, one thing you should notice, the person is running right now in both the situations. In both the situations, the person is running right now. But in one situation, we are only talking about this point. In the other situation, we are talking about the duration. So in other words, if we talk about only one point, we use the continuous tense, like he is running. But if we talk about continuity of an action for some time, we use the perfect continuous tense. We use, uh, we say he has been running since 8.30 or he has been running for one hour. These are the sentences we use. So here is how you will use it. If you're only talking about a point of time, you will use the continuous tense. In the present, it will be, yeah, we'll discuss that in some time, but let's just discuss this first. If we're talking about a point of time, we will use the continuous tense. If we're talking about a time period or a duration, we'll use the perfect continuous tense. You know that we use these helping verbs. In present continuous tense, we use is, am, are, and ing with first forms that you know. But in present perfect continuous tense, we use has been and have been as helping verbs and ing with the verbs. In past, Continuous, we use was, were. In past perfect continuous, we use had been. In future continuous, we use will be. And in future perfect continuous, we use will have been. That's how we use it. For example, take a look at these examples. If you're only talking about right now, you will use present continuous, like I'm learning English these days or I'm learning English. But if you want to tell or talk about the time period, then you will say, I have been learning English for two months. Similarly, in the past, you will say, she was cooking when I reached. That's the continuous tense. We're only talking about one moment. The definition is, if we're talking about only point of time, then you use continuous tense. So she was cooking when I reached. We are only talking about one point. But if we say, she, she had been cooking for an hour when I reached. Here we are using she had been cooking because we are talking about a time duration for an hour. An hour is a time period. So we use had been. Similarly, the baby will be sleeping at 11 p.m. 11 p.m. is a point of time. So we are using the continuous tense. But the baby will have been sleeping for three hours. Here, we are talking about the time period, not about the point of time, but the time period. So we're using will have been. That's the difference. But what happens is when we speak, we tend to make this mistake. Like, I am learning English for two months. We think, I'm learning English for two months. Yeah, uh, uh, yeah, I was working since morning. I was working since morning. But that's not correct. Because if you're talking about a duration, Subha say the duration. If you're talking about continuity over a duration, you will not use the continuous tense. You will use the perfect continuous tense. How will you say in English. Please let me know. This is for Hindi speakers. 
प्लीज लेट मी नो इन द चैट हाउ यू विल से मैं सुबह से काम कर रही थी इन एक मिनट ओके सिमरप्रीत लेट मी कम टू यू यस सिमरप्रीत व्हाट्स योर डाउट sorry ma'am i was uh, giving the example ma'am i was saying that ma'am ma'am there are two types that you have written like in the perfect continuous uh, are there two types of been like you wrote b double e and and uh, in the last one you write b e n is this spelling mistake or we can say we can write this also thank you so much for pointing that out yes of course that's a spelling mistake oh okay ma'am yes yes thank you Thank you for letting me know. That's a spelling mistake. I'll correct that. Wow! Yes, that's a great observation. Okay. First of all, guys, I have been means you are still working. If you want to, if you want to talk about till now, then you will say I have been working since morning. That means till now. But if you want to say कि मैं काम कर रही थी अब नहीं कर रही हूँ अब मैं थक गई हूँ, how will you say that in English? से कि मैं सुबह से काम कर रही थी फिर मैं बहुत थक गई तो मैंने सोचा आराम कर लेती हूँ बट यू ओनली नीड टू टेल मी मैं सुबह से काम कर रही थी इन इंग्लिश अफकोर्स यू से आई हैड बिन वर्किंग बिकॉज यू आर नॉट वर्किंग राइट नाउ बट यू हैड बिन वर्किंग सो दैट्स वॉट यू विल यूज एंड दैट्स वॉट विल प्रैक्टिस टूडे इज दिस क्लियर टू यू गाइज लाइक इज इट क्लियर वेन यू विल यूज द कंटिन्यूस टेंस and when you will use the perfect continuous tense i mean is it clear when you will use am when you will use have been when you will use was when you will use had been is that clear okay sounds good to me if that's clear so yes why i am discussing this to you is because we make this mistake very commonly for example even when you introduce yourself in a job interview and you say uh for example i am working as a data analyst for 5 years the sentence is not correct i am working because for 5 years is a duration whenever you talk about a period of time you should say i have been working i have been working as a data analyst for 5 years that's what you will say and yes i will also answer the question on for and from manish has a question manish yes go ahead please but when in job interview you mostly i had people say like i have been associated with some that blah blah company yeah that's like correct as well that's but correct why am i have been associated like i have been working should be there nahi i have been associated bhi sahi hai i have been associated is good Well, uh, what will it be applicable over here? Actually, sometimes we talk about continuity of an action. Sometimes we talk about continuity of one state. मतलब कोई चीज जो action नहीं है उसकी भी continuity हो सकती है ना? जैसे कि मैं सुबह से इसी room में हूँ. इस रूम में होना कोई एक्शन वर्ड नहीं है बट एक स्टेट है तो सो टू टॉक अबाउट कंटिन्यूटी ऑफ एनीथिंग वी यूज आई हैव बीन इफ देयर इज अ वर्ब वी विल यूज आईएनजी फॉर्म इफ देयर इज नो वर्ब विल नॉट यूज एनी वर्ब फॉर एग्जांपल अदर एग्जांपल्स कैन बी आई हैव बीन मैरिड फॉर 10 इयर्स और आई हैव नोन हिम सिंस माय चाइल्डहुड सो हियर वी आर यूजिंग थर्ड फॉर्म ऑफ वर्ब yes perfect continuity no uh, yeah yeah sometimes we use the perfect tense as well for continuity continuity of state continuity of a state that's right for example for example if i want to say that uh, uh main bachpan se hi moti hu how will you say that in english i have been fat since childhood yeah i have been fat i have been overweight since i was a child Okay. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you for asking, guys. How will you say? I am sober since I was born in English. Please let me know in the chat. So the point that Manish uh, came up with is 
that sometimes we use perfect continuous tense sometimes we also use the perfect tense to talk about continuity when there is no continuous action happening when there is no continuous action happening then you will use only the perfect tense like yes like karan says i have been hungry since morning that's right we have been friends since childhood absolutely guys so we also use that structure of sentences when we are talking about continuity of a stage but again i am hungry since morning is incorrect if you are talking about a time duration you will always say i have been i have been hungry since morning that's the correct sentence now yes let's talk about since and for before we go ahead before we go ahead i would like to talk to you guys about since and for first thing is we don't use from in these sentences for example we don't say i have been learning english from two months we can either use since or for in such sentences not from now let's talk about since and for and i want you to learn this definition of since and for when to use since and when to use for we use since we use since when we are referring to a starting point this is what you will remember since kab use karna hai when you are referring to a starting point in a sentence if you are referring to a starting point you will use since starting point means since 5:30 pm or since 7 am since noon since afternoon since evening since yesterday since last year since 2020 since 1947 since i started my class since i came since you left since i graduated from college since i came to noida because all these are starting points since matlab ye action kab start hua we are telling that point for example i have been i have been trying to eat healthy food since first of this month so first of this month is a starting point i'll use since if you are referring to a starting point you will always use since and now talking about for we use for when we are referring to a duration if you are talking about a duration you will use for for example for 2 minutes for half an hour for 2 hours for a few hours for many hours for 2 days for some days or uh, for a couple of months or we can say for 2 years for 3 months for 10 years for 100 years for many years all these are just duration many years is a duration 2 years is a duration 2 minutes is a duration whenever you are referring to a duration you will use for is that clear guys do you understand are you able to get the use of since and for please let me know ha to hum kya karenge hum ye nayi definition use karenge since you are you will uh, code this in your mind somewhere that since you will use since when you are talking about a starting point and you will use for when you are talking about a duration that's what you will think in your mind is it clear to you guys do you understand this do you have any questions in this please let me know if you understand please write yes if you don't understand say i have a question please let me know yeah please don't be lazy guys please participate typing is not very tedious job 
Yes, I don't have question. Okay. Anyone has a question about what we discussed about since and for? Is it clear to you guys? Please let me know. Pinky is facing network uh, problem. Okay, Rinky, I am not sure how to help you. Please try to fix it. Abhishek, do you have a question? No question. Okay. So then I hope you understood it. Guys, this is the definition you will learn. Fixed time, not fixed time. Wali definition kya hai? Bahut dusse zyada samaj mein nahi hai. Clarity nahi hoti hai. But isse bahut clarity hoti hai. That if you are referring to a starting point, use since. If you are referring to a duration, use for. So abhi mein aap logo se puchungi. For or since? For last week or since last week? Please let me know in the chat. I would like everybody in the class to participate and let me know how you will use it in the chat, please. Please participate, Hello. guys. Oh. Hi, Raghav, were you speaking? I'm sorry. Uh, yes, Ma'am, uh, what you asked actually? Uh, I said, I was, will you say for last week or will you say since last week? For since last week. Since last week. Why? Because it's a, like uh, uh, we are talking about the last week. Uh, like uh, uh, I we know and uh, which week uh, we are talking about. So Actually, that's not, actually that's right. We'll use since last week, but that's not, uh, that's not the logic you should follow. I'm saying since last week. But I'm since last week, why are we saying it? Because when we are talking about last week, we are not talking about duration. You know, if it's like one week, so one week is a duration. But last week, it's not a duration. Last week is the starting point. If we say a week, then what do you say? For a week or since a week? Yeah, that's right. For last one, we will say since last week. For a week. So what the logic will follow is, am I talking about a starting point or am I talking about a duration? If I'm talking about a starting point, I'll use since. If I'm talking about a duration, I'll use for. And yes, you guys are right. A week is a duration. And because it is a duration, you will use for here. You will say for a week, for example, you will say, I have not been attending my classes regularly since last week. Yeah, fit. I have not been attending my classes regularly for a week. Because for a week is a duration, since last week is a starting point. Now, let me ask you. Since a few days or for a few days? Please let me know. The logic you will apply is, am I talking about a duration or am I talking about a starting point? That's right. It's a duration, right? A few days is a duration. So you will say, for a few days. Now, let me ask you the next one. So, dash summer vacation started. Will you say since or will you say for in this situation? You have to think, is it? Is it a duration I'm talking about or is it a starting point I'm talking about? Okay. Yes, I agree with you guys. We will use since here because hum kya bode? just didn't say was summer vacation start when. So we are referring to a starting point. We'll use since because here we're talking about a starting point. That's 
the logic you are going to follow. Do you understand this, guys? Is that clear? Please let me know. Any questions on this? Okay, sounds good. My class has 26 students. I would like 26 students to answer. Simarpreet, do you have a question? Hi Simarpreet, if you have a, no question, so is it clear to you? All right, so I hope you guys understood this. Great. Let's move on now. Let's practice a little today. We'll practice both the tenses, the continuous and the perfect continuous tense so that we can do some speaking in the class. So here is the first topic I would like you guys to talk about. I want you all to tell me what are your family members doing right now? And because we have discussed that we will right now, we will talk about one point, we will talk about continuous tense use. Karenge. So tell me about this. What are your family members doing right now? Family members or whoever you live with. Or if you live alone, then please maybe go to your balcony or some place and observe what other people are doing. So yes, let's go ahead. Simar Preet. Please tell me what your family members are doing right now. My mother and father are talking and my brother and I, we are taking classes. Okay, that's great. Thank you for sharing. So yes, that's the continuous tense. We call it continuous tense in English. That's how we talk. So let me ask Raghav. Raghav, what are your family members doing right now? Uh, Mom, actually, I'm out of the station. I am at my uh, Didi's house. Oh, home, so what are the people doing there? My knees are playing each other and my dad is uh, walking outside. All right. Thank you for sharing, Raghav. Let me go to Deepika. Yes, Deepika, what are your family members doing right now? Uh, Ma'am, they are playing carom board. My husband and daughter both are playing carom board. Oh, wow. And what are you doing? Ma'am, I'm uh, doing class. Okay. I'm attending my, my class. class. That's right. Good. Let's go to Sakshi. Yes, ma'am. Uh, my husband uh, is watching TV and I'm taking class. Okay. Thank you for sharing. And yes, I'm reading all your sentences. That's how you will talk about what's happening right now. And we call it the continuous tense, right? Now, I want to ask you guys three things you have been doing for a long time. Now, for a long time is a duration. So you will use has been, you will use have been, right? You will say I have been. So tell me three things you have been doing for a long time. Please raise your hands so that I can unmute you and we can talk. Let's go to Kanta first. Yes, ma'am. <clears throat> yes, Kanta. Good evening. Good evening, ma'am. Good evening, Kanta. Uh, uh, I have been doing uh food for a long time doing food eating food oh, um, or cooking food been cooking food okay i have been cooking food for a long time okay and uh, uh, i have been uh, i have been uh, learning uh, try to learning english i have been trying time. to learn i have been trying to learn i have been trying to learn english for a long time mm -hmm. and uh, i have been uh, doing many household work for a long time. Very nice. Thank you, Kanta. Let's go to Manish. Yes, ma'am. Yes, Manish. What are three things you've been doing for a long time? I have been uh, learning English since uh, since uh, November 2021. Okay. I have been working for 10 years. Uh -huh. I have been driving car for 15 years. Wonderful. Thank you for sharing. Let's go to Samira. Hi, Samira. Please tell me three things you've been doing for a long time. Okay, 
I'm sorry, I can't hear you. I'll go to Amitabh. I have been uh, I have been learning English uh, for uh, uh, since November. Okay. I have been going I have been going to gym uh, since two months before. For two months. Sorry, for two months. Uh, it's a period of time for two months. So I I have been trying to uh, i have been trying to speak uh, for a year okay thank you for sharing amitabh yes these sentences are correct let's go to abhishek now i have been cleaning my teeth for a long time <laughs> I have been... you have been brushing your teeth since you were a child yes <laughs> Okay. I have been trying to get job for a long time. I have been going to gym for a for a long time. All right. Thank you for sharing. Next, let's go to Sharia. Hi, Sharia. Since my when since two thousand thirteen, my mind is studying. I have been studying. And since. Man, since two uh, man, since two thousand eighteen, ma'am, I am learning social science. I have been learning social science. Can you repeat and say, I have been learning social science since two thousand eighteen. Since since two thousand eighteen, I have been learning social science. That's since right. Two thousand. Uh, since two. In two thousand eleven, when I am gone, I I had been sleeping. I have been sleeping every day. No, ma'am, every night. Every night. Thank you for correcting. Yes, those are great sentences. So yes, guys, when you are going to tell somebody the duration, how long? जब भी आपका focus है how long, then you will use. Has been, have been, had been, etc. Whenever you are telling somebody, कोई काम आप कब से कर रहे हैं, whenever you tell that, you will use has been, have been, had been in different tenses. Now, I want to ask you this question. I want you guys to tell me three things you have not been doing since COVID started. Because before COVID, we had very different um, habits. But now we have different habits. Can you tell me three things you have not been doing since COVID started? Please let me know. I'll ask Simarpreet. Hi, Simarpreet. Yeah, ma'am. I have I have not been taking classes properly and uh, doing classes, attending classes properly, okay. and I have not been uh, uh, not been. Playing outside, and uh, I have not been going to school. And oh, so you still not go to school, ma'am? Now I am. Now oh. I am. So have been. You will use in a case where you are still not doing that thing. Oh, I had. I have. I had not been going to the school. Yeah, but now you are going to school. Yeah. Okay. Thank you for sharing. All right. Let's go to Shefali. Hi, Shefali. I'm sorry, Shefali. I can't hear you. So let's go to Just Joe. Yes, Just Joe. Hi, Shefali. Are you there? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes. Ma okay, Just Joe. Let me talk to Shefali first. Yes, okay. Shefali. Okay. I have not been. I have not been going to market during okay. COVID. I have not been visiting any place during COVID. I okay. I think this been... question is irrelevant. Let me not ask this to you because COVID is gone now, so it is confusing. We'll not talk about that. Let's talk about some past tense and. Uh, 
Shefali, please tell me this. Please tell me what were your family members doing at 8 p.m. yesterday? Again, 8 p.m. yesterday, we are talking about a point of time in the past. So we'll say something like, my father was blah, 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 like that. Shefali, could you tell me what were your family members doing at 8 p.m. yesterday? Uh, my husband, uh, my uh, my husband, uh, have was been... my husband was. Kal at baje kya kar rahe the? So my husband was. My husband was uh, doing. Kya kar rahe the? Husband... Jaise ki my husband was watching TV. Party mein the. Uh, my husband was attending a party. My husband was attending a party. I am also attending. I was also a attending party. that party. I was I was also attending that party mm -hmm. and at the time I was eating food and sweets. Oh wow, you make us hungry. You enjoyed the party? Yes, ma'am. I was that's great. So yes, that's what you will say. I was having dinner. I was enjoying sweets, like you said. Okay, what is Nagin? I was watching Nagin. That's what you will say, Karan. Okay, so let me ask Kirti. Kirti, what were your family members doing at 8 p.m. yesterday? Hi, Kirti. Oh, what's wrong? I can't unmute some people. Hi, Jashod, could you please go ahead? Yes, good evening, ma'am. What for you? Kirti, yes. now I'll talk to Jashjot. Jashjot, please go ahead. And after that, I'll talk to you, Kirti. Yes, ma'am. My, my sister was my sister was laying on a bed. Mother, my mother was cooking food and my father was watching TV. Yeah. And my mother is cooking... Uh, uh, my mother is cooking... Uh, is cooking or was cooking? My mother was cooking rice. Okay. And uh, uh, rice and uh, uh, rajma beans. Mm -hmm. And uh, my father was uh, watching uh, news in our TV. On TV. On TV. And I am playing with skates. I was playing. I was playing with skates, and uh, my sister, uh, my sister was sleeping. And then I wake up him. Then I was waking up him. I woke her up. I woke her up. She was sleeping and I woke her up, okay? My brother and I were dancing. Oh, wow. My husband was living in a shop. What do you mean living in a shop, Kanta? My husband was at a shop. My family members were having food at 8 p.m. So that's about how you talk about one point? If you're talking about one point of time, there's one thing that I want to clarify for all of you. Time ka istemal hone se hume had been used nahi karna padta ya have been used nahi karna padta. If we're talking about a time period, a time duration, then we use has been, have been. If you're talking about one point of time, we'll use is, am, are, was, were, will, be, etc. Like, if I ask you this question, what were your family members doing at 8 p.m.? If you're only talking about a particular point of time, at 8 p.m. per, then you will use was were. Like, I was cooking, I was watching TV. But if you're talking about the duration, if you're talking about how long, then you will use has been, have been, had been, etc. That's what we're going to do. So that's what we're going to practice next. Take a look at this question. It says three things you had been doing before COVID, which means three such things that you had been doing continuously until COVID. And you can tell me kab se kar rahe the. Phir COVID aaya hoga to apne band kar diya hoga. Please tell me. Yeah, thank you for correcting that, Kajal. We should usually say, my brother and I. 
not me and my brother, but my brother and I. So yeah, tell me three things you had been doing before COVID. Let's go to Raghav right now. Hi, Raghav, are you there? Hi. Yes. So three things you had been doing before COVID, but then you stopped. Uh, I was I I had been going to my office. Okay. And uh, before COVID, uh, and uh, like I had been I had been going to market without uh, wearing mask. That's right. And uh, uh, I had not been uh, uh, sanitized my hand. Sanitizing. Uh, sanitizing my hand uh, before COVID. That's right. I agree with you. We had not, we had not been thinking about hand hygiene before that. Let's now go to Deepika. Uh, I had been visiting to the fun places before COVID. Right. And I had been. Uh, going to office before mm. before covid okay i had been uh, visiting market also before covid that's right thank you so much Deepika. so guys if you observe this why are we using had been we are using had been because we did it continuously in the past but we don't do it now agar hum abhi bhi kar rahe hote tab hum bolte have been you know for example agar hum अगर हम अभी भी लाइक अभी भी मास्क पहन रहे हैं तो हम बोल सकते हैं कि आई हैव बिन वेयरिंग मास्क सिंस द फर्स्ट वेव ऑफ कोविड नाइनटीन सो बिकॉज वी आर स्टिल डूइंग दैट पर अगर नहीं कर रहे तो पास्ट में कर रहे थे फॉर एग्जांपल वी ऑल हैड बिन फॉलोइंग सोशल डिस्टेंसिंग टिल द सेकेंड वेव But after that, now we don't follow social distancing. But we had been following it. Had been means you were doing it in the past, not doing it now. So that's how we use had been. Now let's practice a little bit future. Can you guys tell me about tomorrow? कभी कभी क्या होता है कि we predict or we plan about future also. के future में एक particular time पे there will be some action that will be going on. जैसे कि कल इस सेम टाइम पे मैं आपको पढ़ा रही होंगे सो एट द सेम टाइम टुमारो आई विल बी टॉकिंग टू यू गाइस सो आई विल बी टॉकिंग टू यू गाइस इट्स फ्यूचर कंटिन्यूस टेंस बट व्हाट आई एम ट्राइंग टू टेल हियर इज दैट दिस एक्शन विल बी गोइंग ऑन इन फ्यूचर आई विल बी टॉकिंग टू यू गाइज आई एम आस्किंग यू वॉट विल योर फैमिली मेंबर्स बी डूइंग एट फाइव पी एम now we are talking about future they will use will be and you can use ing forms of verbs so yeah let me ask just so i just showed yes ma'am so please answer my question what will your family members be doing at 5 pm tomorrow so my father will be uh, in uh, office and my mother will be uh my mother will be watching tv and i will be coming back from my tuition and my sister is doing a backus class my sister will be my sister will be doing a backus class okay uh, and and when i will come back i will be watching tv and my sister my mother will be cook okay let's stop there when you talk about what you will do after that you will say when i come back i will watch tv and my mother will cook dinner है ना या बट दैट यू विल यूज आई विल बट टू टॉक अबाउट टू टॉक अबाउट अ लाइव एक्शन एट अ पॉइंट इन फ्यूचर यू विल यूज विल बी लाइक यू आर यूजिंग इन ऑल दीज सेंटेंसेस सो लेट मी आस्क अभिषेक अभिषेक व्हाट विल योर फैमिली मेंबर्स बी डूइंग एट 5 पीएम टुमारो my brother will be coming at home okay and my and my my father will be doing something at at 5 uh, pm and my mother will be preparing for cook food at 5 my mother will be cooking dinner 
या फिर माई मदर विल बी प्रिपेयरिंग डिनर तो आप तो बोल सकते हैं माई मदर विल बी प्रिपेयरिंग डिनर माई मदर विल बी कुकिंग डिनर यू कैन यूज दीज वर्ड सो दैट्स फ्यूचर कंटिन्यूस टेंस एंड दैट्स हाउ वी यूज इट नाउ लेट्स प्रैक्टिस अ लिटल मोर आई वॉन्ट यू टू यूज दिस क्वेश्चन फॉर दोज ऑफ अस हु स्पीक हिंदी कब से वो इंग्लिश में कहते हैं हाउ लॉन्ग तो अगर हमारे को किसी को भी पूछना हो कि कोई भी काम आप कब से कर रहे हैं विल यूज हाउ लॉन्ग हैव यू बिन फॉर एग्जाम्पल फॉर एग्जाम्पल हाउ लॉन्ग हैव यू बिन लर्निंग इंग्लिश आप इंग्लिश कब से पढ़ रहे हैं या फिर आप ये जॉब कब से कर रहे हैं हाउ लॉन्ग हैव यू बिन वर्किंग हेयर या फिर आप यहाँ कब से रह रहे हैं How long have you been staying here? So you can use this structure. How long have you been? For example, आप ये चश्मा कब से पहनते हैं? How long have you been using specs? How long have you been using specs? So we can use this expression. How long have you been? To ask कि कोई काम कब से हो रहा है. Now let's practice this. I would like you guys to ask questions to each other. using the structure how long have you been please raise your hands so that you can participate so i'm asking kanta to ask a question to kirti hi kanta could you ask the question hi guys can you hear me kirti can you hear me guys am i audible i don't know if you guys can hear me or not okay so simran preet are you there yes ma'am could you please ask the question to sakshi yeah ma'am how long have you been going to college to the college sakshi do you have an answer for this yeah my college uh uh has finished right now so ma'am uh, what we will say of course right that's now... an appropriate answer i don't go to college anymore because i am a graduate i have already graduated i have done uh, my uh, post graduation absolutely that's the answer okay very nice yeah and can you ask the question to simarpreet using how long have you been okay how long have you been uh taking a uh, english cafe class uh from one month for one month yeah i have been taking english cafe class from one month for Thank one you. month for one month okay yeah. that's right thank okay. you so much babe so yes guys that's how you will ask um taking ki jagah pe you can say attending etc are better words but taking is fine i'm sorry i think i muted you I was talking to Sakshi, right? Sakshi, I was talking to you. Uh, ma'am, I have a question. Yeah, please. Yeah, ma'am. Uh, last uh, slide uh, you show uh, that uh, uh -huh. he what uh, what? Uh, wait a minute. I have. Uh, yeah, one yeah. Three things you you have not been doing since COVID started. Uh mm huh. -hmm. Okay. So, ma'am, what is the exact meaning? Uh, like since COVID started. क्योंकि कोविड तो पास्ट में स्टार्ट हुआ ना ऐसी कौन सी चीजें हैं जो हम तब से अब तक कर रहे हैं या नहीं कर रहे हैं ओके नाउ गॉट इट लर्न सो ऐसे कुछ भी हो सकता है जैसे कि जब से जब से आप आए तब से जब से आप आए तब से सिंस सिंस यू रीच्ड सिंस यू रीच्ड ओके स्टार्टिंग पॉइंट हां एब्सोल्युटली गॉट इट लर्न या जब से आप यहां से गए तब से मैं खाना नहीं खा रही हूं हाउ विल यू से दैट How can uh, you say that in English? Mm 
I have uh, I have not uh, been. I have not been uh, having food mm -hmm. since you gone. Yeah, since you, you left. Absolutely you right. That's what you will say. Okay. You got it? Yeah. Very nice. Thank you so much for asking that question. Now let's practice. How long have you been a little more? Hi, Shorya. Are you there? Shorya, Shorya, Shorya. I can't hear you. Salguru Kirti. Kirti, are you there? I cannot hear Kirti either. I don't know. Simarpreet, I just spoke to you. So I'm going to Abhishek. Hi, Abhishek. Are you there? Yes, ma'am. Okay, so Abhishek, I would like you to ask a question to Shafali using the structure, how long have you been? Okay, ma'am. How long have you been drinking cold? Shafali, would you like to answer? Yes. Can you repeat, Abhishek? Yes. How long have you been drinking cold drink? I have it, been yes, ma'am. I have been taking holding taking my childhood. Since my childhood. Since my childhood. That's right. Now Shifali, please ask the question to Abhishek. Okay. How long have you been going to college? I I have been going to college. For three years. Do you still go to college, Abhishek? Yes, ma'am. Ah, then it's correct for you. Thank you so much. Okay, can I have more volunteers, please? Can you raise your hands? So, Amitabh, I would like you to ask a question to Simarpri. How long have you been eating dinner? Mm. I I I have been eating dinner uh, since uh, eight o'clock. Four eight o'clock. Since eight o'clock is correct, Simar. But are you eating dinner right now? No, I have done. Okay, then you will not say I have been eating dinner. You will say I have already finished my dinner. Okay, ma'am. So your answer to his question is I have already finished my dinner. Okay, ma'am. Could you ask the question to Abhishek now? Okay. How long have you been completed your uh, completed your education? It was Amitabh, right? Okay, go ahead, Amitabh. I all uh, I already completed my uh, education. Okay, but you know this question is not very appropriate because completing cannot continue for a long time. Completing is like. It just completed. happens in one. Completed. Com yeah. So, unka question on cheta, when did you complete your graduation? Yes. Simar, you should have said, when did you complete your graduation? In this case. Okay. Let me ask Deepika to ask a question to just you. How, yes. long, how long have you been working in US? What? How long have you been working in company uh, i'm not working in company i'm a student i am a student that's right now jashod could you ask the question to dipika yes how long uh, how long are you are uh, how long are you graduating no that's not an appropriate question please try another how question you, uh, do, how long have you been uh, doing your education okay I have already completed my education and now I am doing a job. Okay, great answer, Deepika. Yes. So that's how you use it. And that's about the continuous and perfect continuous tenses. After this class, I will share this PDF with you. You can go through this and you can practice these sentences. Go through each situation on each slide and practice these sentences. If you have any questions, you can definitely ask me in the class tomorrow or in the group. Does anyone in the class have any questions about what we discussed today? How long have you been trying to get a job? Great question, Abhishek. 
Yes, guys. Any questions about what we discussed today? Hey, if there are no questions, I hope that I did a good job. And I hope I explained the topic to you well. Go through the PDF. I'll also share the class recording later. You can go through that. Thank you, Jashot, for letting me know. So that's all for this evening. Please have a great evening. Have some rest. I'll see you tomorrow. Good night, guys.